Oh, great rock runner, um, big guy. Um, it's all about competing, um, making each other better. And at the end of the day, all about, like I said, man, having fun, um, learning from each other as we go. Imagine last year you got to work against Michael Thomas a lot, now you're here with AJ and Julio. What, what kind of a benefit is it for a DB group when you're working against such a high caliber of talent? It's great. Uh, you're getting great work. Um, you know what you're going you're gonna to face in the game and during the season. Guys of that caliber, caliber. So when you come out here to work, just give it all you got. Oh, I'm going to be a big tone setter. Um, that's my whole mentality, man. Just coming out here having fun. Um, the younger guys are going to look at me because I've been in it so long. So whenever I slack, I feel like I fail the team or I fail the young guys. So that's why I come out here and work so hard. I mean, it could be difficult. Um, but for myself, you know, I come out focused. And I pick guys like KB Brain because he's been around so long. He know the defense in and out, and so I get next to him, learn what I can learn, soak it all in, and come out and play. Oh, great kid, nice side, like to work. Um, you can tell he like to take coaching, so I'm just excited to see him play. Oh, he stay picking my brain all in meetings, man. Like it's crazy, but it's, it's good at the same time because he's gonna be a factor of this team. Yeah. How is that relationship and how is that kind of been cool, man. He understands me as a player and as a person. Just for knowing my background and where I come from, because we came from sort of the same area. But you know, we just have fun and talk, talk about the old days and what's it like growing up in the muck and just just bonding, man. Has that made your transition easier? Way easier, a lot easier. In what way? Just knowing, just knowing he understands me, uh, my mindset, my mentality. And it's just pushing me as far as just being from the same area. I like everything, man. Um, he's young, he's fast, uh, he's strong, he, he likes to learn, he takes coaching. And when you get signs like that from a young guy, it all ties in together to be a great player. It's, it's part of my job. Cause I'm the veteran of the secondary. I'm probably one of the oldest guys back there besides KB. And um, just getting him up the part, man, and just understanding that, you know, you're going to have ups and downs. But at the end of the day, it's all about how you bounce back. Where does, where your, where does your energy come from? I mean, it's obviously it's very noticeable. Like, just where, where does it stem from? Oh, uh, just being out here, man, just playing with these guys. Um, every day I touch the football field, you know, I feel like I'm at the playground. Um, I like to have fun. I like to fly around. You know what I'm saying? To just play with a chip on my shoulder. If you ain't got energy, baby, you can feed off of me all day, every day. Oh, I, I do that everywhere I go. Um, I just want to learn. Learn. You can never, you can never be too old to learn. So just to pick receiver brains and have them come ask me questions, I feel like it helped the team overall. I do it here, wherever I've been at. I always did that because I want to understand my game. You know what I'm saying? How valuable is that information for someone who may not be your position but is directly going against your position? It's valuable because he's telling me what I'm doing wrong, what I'm doing right. And I'm telling him what he's doing wrong and what he's doing right. Farley obviously easing in, but for what he did, it looked like he was going full speed to get the sense he's... Oh, yeah, it's, it's all go or nothing else, man, when you come out here to practice because you're being evaluated, whether it's walk through, jog through, doing weights, whatever. And I got to let him know, and I hopefully he understand that. Everybody having fun, everybody flying to the ball, and everybody understanding the defense. And I feel like everybody on the, on the defensive side of the ball knows what's at stake this year. And um, I think we're playing with a chip on our shoulder. Oh, just play fast. Play fast, hit hard, and run to the ball. And everything else to handle itself. You had your share of head coach. What are your thoughts on Coach Rabel so far? Oh, great guy. He understands the players. You know, he played in this game, so he understands. And um, it's just all about, you know, like I said, going hard. Is that um, something that's unique? Oh, yeah, that's very unique because if you understand the players, then you understand your team. 
Um, if you don't understand the, your players, you don't understand your team because, you know, players going to, you know, we're going to complain, not really complain, but, you know, we're going to have some thoughts, some disagreements. But at the end of the day, if you can go to your head coach and talk to him one-on-one -on -one or in front of the team and he understand where we're coming from, that's a big help for him. Seems like Vrabel's a pretty innovative guy with some of the things he does in practice. We see the Sam fit, we see some teams he puts guys on. Is that in your impression? Yeah, just make sure you're active. Make sure you're always working when you're out here on the field, whether you're injured or not. He's always want you to work, and at the end of the day, all he care about is going fast. No, I don't like Jadoris. Um, Where does Jack Rabbit come from? He come from college um, a while back when I um, first entered college. I entered in January, um, spring ball. I really didn't know no plays when I went out there, but I was making a lot of plays. And um, we got in the film room, and my coach was just like, you moving fast. Um, you're moving like a jackrabbit because where I'm from, we know for catching rabbits. 